Oh, the, the NAR settlement. Boy, that's a hot button right now, isn't it? People are going crazy. Calm down, Chicken Little. This guy's not falling. I think it's a great thing. Um, I think that it's going to push out a lot of door openers. I think it is going to force people to get better. Um, it's not the end of the world. Things change and people adapt. It's Darwinism. Adapt or die. Now, I'm not looking for these people to die, but they, they can move on to, to another industry if they can adapt. So people are going to panic and they're going to split. People are going to not adapt and they're going to split. That's fine. You probably shouldn't have been in this industry in the first place. The barrier for entry into real estate is so unbelievably low. It's, it's ridiculous. It, two weeks in a class and a test and all of a sudden you're a realtor wide open to make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. That's absurd. You know, you've got people that were a waitress two weeks ago, nothing against waitressing. It's a very needed and respectable industry and work field. However, it doesn't qualify you to deal with major financial situations in, in people's lives. Like you're dealing with people's largest purchase they're ever going to make and, and you're not qualified. Taking a two-week course, listen, some of the people that were in my real estate class, and if they happen to see this, I'm, I'm not talking about you. It was the other guy next to you. Um, it, unbelievable. The, the questions that they would circle around me and ask were mind-blowing. Like, what is going on here? How is this happening? How are you and I going to carry the same license moving forward into this industry? I mean, and there's so many, to take from the, the legal field, so many ambulance chasers in real estate. They do need to go. They make us all look bad. They make it worse for all of us because people see the sliminess and the just greediness of, I'm going to open this door for you. And then I'm going to hard sell you on this one house because I don't want to have to show you more than one home. And I'm going to hope that you don't see the stains on the ceiling from the water leak. And then we're going to move forward from here. I mean, just nonsense. Just trying to collect a paycheck. And if you're that kind of agent, I hope this runs you out of the business. Because you're not really truly looking out for your clients. Look, I have an MBA, and I learn stuff every single day in this world, and I've got some education. So people that have never been in the business world or have never experienced anything like that, I mean, you're dealing with significant contracts in a potentially extremely litigious industry that it's unbelievable that that's all it takes. So yeah, I think it's a good decision. I think it's going to be a come to Jesus moment for a lot of people. And look, if you're not qualified, if you shouldn't really be here, if you can't adapt to what's coming, get the fuck out. Honestly. I mean, I don't know how else to say it, but that's how I feel. It, it really truly needs to be the bar needs to be raised, it, and the entry level is not going to change any time in the near future. So this is a significant change that's going to really drive out a lot of the door openers that have diluted this business, and it's going to drive a lot of the, the cream to the top, and iron sharpens iron, and it's going to make us all better. So. Don't panic. It's not the end of the world. It, it's, it's just a step in the road. And we'll get through this and we'll move forward. And the decision doesn't say, it doesn't even say that sellers can no longer pay the buyer's agent. It's just not able to be broadcast in the MLS. That's it. So it, it's not the end of the world. Things will move forward. There will be workarounds. There will be 
be a lot of things come down the pipe that you know the people are not foreseeing right this minute but it's certainly not the end of the world it's certainly not the end of real estate it's not the end of the real estate agents it's not the end of buyers agents so the people that are panicking the people that are freaking out that they're not going to get paid any longer yeah yeah you're not you're right you should get out there are far, far too many real estate agents because of that low barrier to entry. So, yeah, absolutely. I think it is a long time coming. I think it is necessary. I think it's now going to cause people to, first of all, stop agent hopping. So if you don't have a buyer's agreement with these people, they're going to go see a house with you and then maybe go see a house with this guy. Well, they're not going to want to sign buyer's agreements with 15 different people so now it's going to be, you know, a, a little more loyalty to the people you do show homes to. So now you get them to sign a buyer's agreement up front. And, and I, think, I think it's going to be, I don't know, there's still so much coming out. This is so brand new. But I, I think there'll be different levels. I think there'll be a buyer's agreement. I'll show you this one house. Um, let's meet. Let's get to know each other. Let's see if we, we click or not. And if we don't, then, yeah, go on and. Find the agent that you click with. Absolutely, that's what you should do. Um, and then there'll be the, you know, other extreme of we're getting married. So here we go. We're we're in this. We're we're in it to the end. We're going to find you a house. You're going to commit to me, and I'm going to show you every house that you want to see. Um, th there's a a lot that's going to shake out. I mean, it hasn't even. It still has to be signed off on. Like it, it's not even gone. The judge still has to sign off on it. So all the people that are freaking out prematurely, yeah, you should, somebody needs a refill on table three. So I, I don't know. It, it, it's ultimately going to be a good thing. It's going to shake up the industry. There are going to be some sellers that absolutely steadfast are not going to be willing to pay a buyer's agent, but that falls back on the listing agent to educate them of, hey, here are the reasons that it is wise and beneficial for you to consider this. And some of them are still going to stand their ground and say, absolutely not, and that's fine. And others are going to be more willing to continue on essentially business as usual, other than being able to put it in the MLS that it's offered. So it's not the end of the world. It's not going to, I mean, people know that the media is trash and garbage and they're just trying to stir shit up. This is no different. This is exactly the same. Everyone is looking to the media, even some of these people that agree that the media just puts out complete garbage trying to stir people up just for attention and now all of a sudden that it affects them and it's in their industry now it's the gospel now it's the end of the world now the sky's falling i believe them they're for sure being forthcoming with the information and they're being truthful and they know what they're talking about come on give me a break so we'll get through this things will move forward people will move on it'll be okay just hang in there <laughs>